hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl by Ella party heaven so today's video is just a very simple and straightforward one on how i stuff feathers into a bubble balloon a lot of people might know how to do this but this is just for those that are new to my channel um just showing you an easy way basic centerpiece if you have not subscribed yet please click the subscription button and share like this video thank you guys um so what i've just done is i've pre-inflated my bubble balloon you pre-inflate it with hair and then you release and then you get your you can see that tool i'm using it's called a castration tool you can get the tool from ebay it helps you widen the neck of a balloon so you can stuff it easily you could also use a funnel for this if you find this uncomfortable but i think using this is um you know it's a lot easier you can see i'm just the mouth neck of the balloon is wide and i'm just stuffing in the feathers um, now for the feathers when it comes to air filled balloon you can put as much as you want because it's air filled anyway and it's not like you need it to float but for helium filled uh, balloon with feathers you need to be careful with the amount of feathers you put in um i wouldn't advise to like put feathers in a bubble balloon with helium but when it comes to a deco bubble it's best you use a, like a 24 inches uh, because the 24 inches has is bigger so obviously you would be able to take the weight of the feathers and i think when you want to weigh the amount of feathers you put in i think it, it, they generally say um i think three grams or so um i'll try and confirm that and let you guys know anyway I have stuffed enough feathers for this bubble balloon. You make sure you put the feathers further down so that when you're inflating the balloon, the feathers don't like jump out from the balloon. next i am showing you my hat box and my stick with so the stick i have cut you know really short um at the end of the day i realized i didn't even need the stick and the cup because i was going to tie a ribbon over the balloon itself so the ribbon helps to keep the balloon in place really so if you don't have a cup and stick you don't have to use it but make sure you cut your stick really short so that the balloon can sit nicely on top of it now if you're wondering what cup and stick i recommend for this you could use the cheap um two-piece cup and stick because um it's it's you don't need you know you don't need that extra you don't need the big one because already it's got the balloon has got protection from the ribbon you're going to tie over it um so right now i'm just tying a 260q to seal off the balloon always use a 260q or 160q to tie off your balloon so i'm trying to like fit in the small balloon cup over the bubble balloon So I have placed my balloon on the cup 
and then you just tie your ribbon over it this design is great for like a baby shower or even a bridal shower all you need to add extra to it would be like personalization maybe the name of the celebrant or the baby it could also be given as a gift now another thing you could do with this design is that you could put stuff in the bubble balloon so you just need to cut it up put a teddy bear in put um a baby anything that has to do with baby inside of it and you've got a perfect gift i'm going to try and do a tutorial on that on cutting it up and putting stuff in and then placing it on a hat box but i hope you enjoyed this video it's simple it's straightforward and stunning at the same time thank you guys for joining me i hope you you know enjoy this